Tor for Nokia HQ. In today's video, I'm going to showcase you one of our newest features and actions that we implement into our Chrome extension integration, which is the screen capture. So this action allows you to add the functionality to capture the current tab the user is in in the browser and save that screenshot as a base 64 um, string, which you can then use and save in your bubble application. If you don't know um, exactly what I'm talking about, I recommend you to watch one of our other videos where we explain how to set up our Chrome extension integration, which allows you to build Chrome extension without code using just your bubble application. So this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial, which is simply going to show you how to use the newest action. So I have you my Chrome extension uh, designed here on my, uh, on my bubble app. As always, I have the Chrome extension uh, plugin installed and uh, situated here on the page. Um, and what I want to showcase you is our new um, action, which is in this case, I have a button here. I'm going to um, call that tape screenshot. All right. We're going to start edit workflow. And uh, in element actions, as always, you have access to all the different Chrome extension um, actions. And the newest one is the last one here, screenshot Chrome extension. Just click on that. So what happens if a user clicks this button now? Well, um, the current active tab will be taken and a screenshot will be made of whatever is seen. Okay. Now, how do you have access to this data? Well, once this is triggered, this action, um, the data will be written as always to our uh, to a specific state. So just as a reminder, let me just add a text here. You always have access to uh, the Chrome extensions state. So current URL, highlighted text, language, and so on and so forth. And now the new one is screenshot data base 64. So what is base 64? It's a specific file or data format, which allows you to display data as a string. So in this case, you will get returned a string, but you will also be able to work with that. So how we use that? Well, the easiest way is, for example, just having an image here. So I let me just show you that from scratch. I'm going to search for image here. Okay, like this. Uh, center it horizontally and usually here you would upload a file but in our case we're going to specify dynamic image insert dynamic data and we're going to say all right chrome extension ace screenshot data base 64 okay and let's jump right into that and see how that looks so let me just open okay it's quite a plugin heavy uh, application so it takes some time and there will be a change of pages here now but let's wait a second uh, and we're not going to take a screenshot of this page so let's see what happens i'm just going to click take screenshot Awesome. You can see it immediately works. Um, that's the great thing. There's no external APIs. The screenshot is taken immediately. And you can see it is actually the, the, the real view, basically, of the current user. So whatever the user, user literally sees, if you take a screenshot or he takes a screenshot, uh, exactly this will be displayed. Okay. And you can see if I open the image in a new tab, um, we have the image here as well. But if I show you the URL, it's encoded as base64. So it's not hosted anywhere. It literally is the image um, encoded and displayed as a string, as data. Okay. Um, so yeah, you saw it, it works already quite simple. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, uh, quite simple but powerful feature. You could obviously work with that and um, use the data then and save it within your bubble database, create a list of screenshots, and then you obviously can always display that. Uh, image um, as base 64 within bubble without any problems. So thank you for watching um, and see you guys for next video for Nokia HQ. Bye.